Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Jane. Um, some of you might know me by my screen name, Losing One Me, and I'm actually going to be your Tuesday's host on this channel. Um, yesterday we had a video from Brandy, Cody's mom, and she did fantastic covering some of the side effects of the different surgeries. So um, if you're interested in hearing about that, definitely go back and check her video out from yesterday. Um, but thanks to her for doing that, I can now make a video more about my personal journey. Um, I am actually the oldest left band on the um, on this board. In a week and a half, I will be six months out, and I am down just about 60 pounds. I think I'm just over. I'm not really sure because I'm trying to not weigh every day, but I'm down 60 pounds. Six months, I can't complain. Um, there are, as I see it, two parts to the question, why did you have a lap band? One is, why did you have weight loss surgery? And the other is, why did you choose a lap band? Why I had weight loss surgery was acid reflux. Now, of course, I was overweight. I still am overweight. And that is the reason I have weight loss surgery. Um, but what pushed me over the edge was my acid reflux. What would happen with me is, um, first of all, I had an awful acid reflux. So I would wake up in the middle of the night choking on my own acid. If you've never done it, avoid it. It's horrible. Um, I would just feel sick, like most foods would irritate me, it was just, it was bad. But I would get um, a cough of any type, um, a minor cold, some allergy symptoms, anything. And what I would do is I would cough acid up into my lungs and get um, acid reflux pneumonia. And so my body, my doctors always thought I had pneumonia. Um, they would take x-rays and be like, well, we'd see little spots, but we didn't really see anything, but you're clearly presenting with pneumonia, and they would treat it. And sometimes it would help, and sometimes it wouldn't. Um, and it was because the acid was just kicking around in my lungs, and what I needed to do was calm down the cough. When the cough would calm down, the acid would calm down. But I would be sick for months at a time, and I would get all charged up. I was going to lose weight, and then I would um, start exercising, and my uh, my reflux would kick in. I would start, you know, be breathing heavier and working out more, and my reflux would kick in, and I would get pneumonia, and I would be flat out exhausted for a couple months. And my doctors told me, there's really nothing we can do about this. Um, my insurance company refused to pay for the medicine, the only medicine that I have found that really helps the situation. And... Um, I was on all kinds of medicine, and they said, you have to lose weight because there's nothing more that we can do. And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> it's not that easy to lose the weight when you can't exercise. And I looked into it, and my insurance company would cover a lap band. It wouldn't cover my medicine, but it would cover a lap band. So I decided to go ahead and have weight loss surgery, and I am thrilled 60 pounds gone in six months is a really sweet thing. Um, why did I choose left band? And I want to be very clear. Um, I'm very convinced that left band was right for me. I have friends who've had gastric bypass, and I will refer, while I'm talking about this, to my mother. She also had gastric bypass, and she lost all of her weight. She's she's very thin now, um, almost too thin. But that's her choice. That's not that's not um, the surgery's fault. Um, but for me, lap band was right. First of all, my husband said, no gastric bypass. Um, so that was, that was a consideration. Um, but my mother, who I share genes with, and I don't share genes with any of you guys, um, has had some possible complications. She's had a lot of um, colon and intestine issues. Now, they could just be the way her body is. Or they could be an offshooting of this surgery. We have no way of knowing. But um, since I have half of her DNA, why would I really want to take that chance that I was going to put myself in that situation? Um, I'm also terrified of dumping. My mother is not a dumper. My mother can eat just about anything. But I know some people, like Christy, um, Christy pretty much the only protein meat she can have is turkey. She can't really have chicken. She can't really have beef. Some people can eat anything. Some people can't. 
and you don't know until you've already had the surgery and it's too late to change your mind. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to deal with I want to say I didn't want to deal with changing my life because I've changed my life. The lap hand changes your life. But I didn't want to deal with not being able to make a mistake. I didn't want to deal with going out to a family gathering or a wedding or whatever and not being able to eat what they gave me or having to worry about I might end up in the bathroom dumping because you know they served something that had too much sugar or too much fat or whatever. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with that. Um, but I think the number one thing that convinced me that lap band was right for me is the fact that it is just about completely reversible. Um, technically, you have some stitches and some scars that will never go away, so it's not completely reversible, but they can take the lap band out. They can take the lap band out if anything goes wrong, if my body rejects it, if whatever, if I lose weight too fast and can't keep weight on, they can take it out and they can adjust it for the rest of my life. If I find that 20 years from now I can eat too much food, they can put more saline in. If I find uh, six months from now that I can't eat enough food, they can take more saline out. Um, it's For me, the, the fact that my tool is, is able to work with me and change and um, just adjust to my circumstances is really what made lap band the right decision for me. Um, as Brandy covered, there are potential downsides to lap band. Fortunately, I haven't really run into any of them yet. Um, some people I talk to are like, well, I don't want to have the band because I don't want to have a lump where the port is. And <laughs> be brave, I'm going to show you. There's nothing to see. Um, because that's that's how non-existent it is. This, try and turn sideways so you can see, this is where my port is. Um, I can feel it because I know where to find it, but I don't have any visible bump. Um, some people are worried that they're going to have a bump for the rest of their life. I can find it. Um, but it's not like people walk down the street and are like, oh, look, there's a bump on your stomach. There's none of that. Um, and there are very serious side effects. There is erosion. There is slippage. Um, but there are small chances of that. And there are chances of complications with any surgery. So I chose to have a lap band, and I'm happy with it. So that's my take. Um, I believe in two days we will have Fred. Fred Bear 08, and he will be doing his thoughts. Fred's actually still pre-op, so he can give us a slightly different perspective. And if anyone um, wishes to reach me, I'm going to put my contact info, you know, one of those sides. I'll get it someday. Um, and uh, and feel free to PM me or, um, or leave a comment, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks, guys. Bye.